So I'm going to put my YouTube reputation on the line. And if one of the pistons on this block is not destroyed, okay, I'm actually going to stop making YouTube videos. Ready? So I got the engine sitting on the stand, but it's actually been a couple of weeks since I removed the parts that I thought I was gonna need to finish my other 302. That other 302 is already sitting in the T-top in the process of being broken in. Now that I have that wind under my belt, I can actually stomach to continue taking this apart to find out what actually destroyed this block. Before I do that though, I will mention someone called me out. Someone said on the video where I diagnosed this block that they were not impressed with my abilities as a mechanic. They thought that after finding out that the engine was locked, I should have continued uh, this assembly. I should have removed the plugs, maybe taken out the filter and emptied out the oil pan to find out if there was any metal or if the engine had uh, hydro locked. Okay, so nothing against that person, but I do have to say I'm not really a professional mechanic. I work on my own vehicles and my own engines. Maybe uh, that person is an actual mechanic and maybe that's how they would have gone about it. However, I did make a claim. It's either part of the throttle body, this intake manifold, or maybe it's a piece of a piston. Common sense would tell me to start by removing this head, the valve stem sticking out that high on cylinder number six would lead me to think that that's gonna be the problem cylinder, all right? But if I was a mechanic getting paid an hourly rate and I didn't wanna be accused of, I don't know, not being thorough enough, I would start by removing this head. So let's build up some suspense and take off this head first. All right, so there we go. We're ready to pull off the first head. So this is the passenger side of the block. I just removed the cylinder head from this side and you can see that it looks fairly intact. I don't see any pieces missing from this piston. There's a little bit of coolant left over from the head when I removed it. Um, on this side here, there's actually a little piece of aluminum similar to what we found on the intake. You can see right there, there's a little scar, possibly from when the piston came up. This probably uh, got pressed between the piston and the head. All right, but overall, this side uh, looks intact and it doesn't seem like the material came from this side, all right? I don't see any damage to the pistons here, so I'm starting to get worried, but I'm gonna start unbolting the uh, driver's side of the head where I believe uh, the damage is going to be. Okay guys, so whatever you see here will determine whether I make any more YouTube videos or not. Alright, let's find out. Ready? Jesus. Whoa. 
Whoa. What did I say? All right. Now that you've seen this atrocity, I would like to get back to that comment. Why didn't I keep digging that day? Simple reason. Even though I am not a professional mechanic, that day I quickly realized that something had gone catastrophically wrong. The engine was seized and there was chunks of aluminum floating around the intake. Okay, if you think about it, my guess wasn't even that difficult to make. On an iron block, the only place where aluminum can come from is the pistons, the intake itself, or maybe the bearing linings, okay? I guess it was either the pistons or the manifold, all right? So there you have it, all right? What I wasn't ready for is to see this. I didn't want to see the engine that I was trying to get started that day looking like this. Also, I wasn't ready to deal with things like this. These are my GT40 heads, all right? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a giant hole on the combustion chamber. So these are good as trash, all right? Also, my $600 roller rockers are destroyed because one of them got a push rod pushed through it, all right? I wasn't ready to deal with this stuff, but now that my car is running, now I can actually, I guess, just deal with it, all right? So please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Take care, guys.